Well, my name is Garth Waters and I'm a beekeeper. The most interesting thing about bees is that they're, they're such hard workers. His entire life, a bee lasts about five weeks and they just literally beat their wings off. They're working so hard. The fascinating bee is the queen. If the queen dies, the whole hive collapses will die. If you take the queen out of the hive, you'll have every single bee out of that box. You have to be able to locate the queen. Because if you lose the queen, you lose the hive. Every single bee works for the queen. It's all because of her. No. No, I've never seen a swarm of bees in a couch cushion before. So here's the story. A guy called me up and said that a swarm of bees were living in a four-sectional couch. So we brought the couch home. If I could just get them out of that couch and into a box, I'd have a new hive. So we were working on those bees to try and get them out of that couch. And the queen flew off and took the swarm with her up in the tree, 25 feet up. So we had to put a ladder up there to get him. Let's put down on that. We'll take back that way a little more. It wasn't a pretty sight. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get my bee vac. My bee vac is a vacuum that fits on a five gallon bucket. Then we made this for the outside, suck the bees into and that's to capture bees. You just suck them right in there. An oak tree can be dangerous because they tend to rot from the inside out and you can't tell if the limb is rotten or not. I was a little nervous about sending my son up 25 feet into an old oak tree. But there again, I really wanted that hive. When you're vacuuming bees, the only bee you have to get is the queen. Yeah, not very many bees, but, but as long as we got the queen, we'll have a new hive. Why do you keep bees? <laughs> it, it, it's fun. Bees are an amazing animal. A single bee out of the hive will visit up to a thousand flowers a day. They, they just, they work from morning to night. For me, it's just for fun. But we'd live in a very different world if it wasn't for bees.